Welcome back to Bloom. It's cold and flu season, and one aspect that is hard to control is being exposed to germs at the office. Achoo! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here to discuss how to fight the office flu and offer some great tips, and that was a fake sneeze, guys, is Steve Koyak, the business development manager at Stratus Business Solutions in Tampa. Welcome, Steve. We keep hearing that the flu is, is ramping up. We're getting to sort of that dangerous season, so this is really right. important information. There's something you guys say called hot points or touch points in the office. What does that mean? Those would be virtually any point that you can touch in an office. Okay. I mean, right from you get there, you'll get in the elevator, you'll touch mm -hmm. the button. Yep. You go in the bathroom, you'll touch anything. You can touch the sink, the dryer, you're working, your pens, your phones, anything that you might touch. Door handles. Door handles, everything. Everything, yes. everything that we basically everything, touch that yes. we don't control cleaning or we don't know how well it has been cleaned or disinfected. You do not. That is true. Okay. And that's yes. dangerous because? Because it'll spread. Okay. So what should we be doing to protect ourselves then? Well, I would say is to make sure whatever you touch, touch at a limit. Mm -hmm. um, do the best that you can. You might want to wipe your hands more frequently, wash them more frequently, certainly use hot water and things like that. Um, anything, even when you touch a pen. If okay. you touch a pen, somebody else could have touched that before then and they could have coughed on it. Okay, so we're seeing some other tips for fighting the office flu. One of them is get a flu shot. Stay home if sick. How important is that and why don't we do it? We don't do it because we fear the, the boss won't. <laughs> <laughs> is there any way to advocate for that, to sort of get over that and just make sure that we're keeping everyone safe? I would say you can work from home more often. Mm -hmm. I okay. mean, that's for sure, yeah. Okay, definitely. Because, don't be you know, afraid to use those six days if you do absolutely, have them. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Washing hands frequently was another one we talked yes. about. How long should we be washing our hands for? I know some of us don't I'd say at least 20 enough. seconds with hot water. Okay, mm -hmm. sing the happy birthday song. Is that still valid? Absolutely. <laughs> sure. Okay, so you have brought some things to show us. Yes. It looks like I'm going to be cleaning a little. A little bit. Okay, and that's important because yes. I'm cleaning away the germs. Right. Okay, right. so what do we have here? Well, these products are specifically designed by us, mm -hmm. and they really are used to eliminate germs or eliminate any of the spread of germs. Okay. And the way this is all done is we eliminate any cross-contamination because that is really how you can spread germs. Okay. Even when, when you mop the floor, sometimes you'll see a mop going in a dirty bucket and you know, of course they'll wring out the mop, but mm -hmm. that it's not clean. Okay. These are cleaned and then they'll be cleaned and washed. So reusing things like that, reusing exactly. things at the top. So this is talking for your professional cleaners who will yes. come into the office. Your commercial cleaners that come into the office. So how do we then make sure in our office they're utilizing a commercial cleaner that's doing things properly? Well, you want to make sure you go with a green commercial cleaner. Mm -hmm. Okay. With us, we're the number one green yeah. cleaning company in the country. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Now yep. you have something that you guys call a fight the flu kit. What should that contain or should we have something like that in our office? Yeah, I think that would basically contain um, a little spritz bottle mm -hmm. that has any kind of chemicals in it to eliminate um, uh, napkins or something or tissues for when you sneeze. Yep. Oh, uh, anti bacterial wipes, things like that. And then the one thing I like that I haven't thought about is new pins, because yes. pins are something we're touching a lot too. Same so thing sort of that I mentioned. So right. you're saying if you're you know, an HR manager of an office, you're someone that leads an office, or maybe you're just a good Samaritan in an office, bring something like that with hand sanitizer, with tissues, with right. pins, so people sort of have this resource to help exactly. them. Tell us what about what your company does 24 seven when we're not just trying to wipe away the flu. Well, 24-7, we're constantly trying to develop our chemicals to make them a little bit better. Okay. Um, these are very uh, environmentally friendly. They're biodegradable. Um, they're really good for churches and preschools and certainly for offices. Okay. Why is that important to your company, staying sustainable and being green? Uh, because that's what our environment, our environment needs mm -hmm. for us all to go forward and be you know, more healthy and safer in the future. Okay, so for those people out there watching, what can they do that you guys are experts in, you know, corporately, what advice can they take for their own home to help with cold and flu at home? Same thing, no cross-contamination. Mm -hmm. When you clean your bathroom and toilet and everything, don't use the same rag as you do when you clean the kitchen. Okay. Even if you rinse it out, uh-uh, mm -hmm. use a completely different mm -hmm. rag. And I have a four-year-old, so it's very hard to keep her germs away from me, but exactly. I, I, try, <laughs> I try my best, fingers crossed, I got a little sniffle so we'll hope that that right. goes away. Well, we hope that you and everyone at Charles stays well mm -hmm. through this cold and flu season. Did you get your flu shot? I have, yes. Put, them on, put you on the spot right there. That's <laughs> one of the top ways, too. All right, well, if you guys want more flu prevention tips, you can visit their blog or Steve's website at stratusbuildingsolutions.com. And remember, keep it clean and watch out for that cross-contamination. Thank you so much, Steve. Thanks for having me.